From Sunday into Monday, crews spent time cleaning up branches and trees that fell in Charlestown. A lot of the damage was seen here in the downtown area. In downtown Charlestown, tree debris lined the street. The roof blew off this vacant building. Neighbors say they lost power. So last night we had to cook dinner over an open fire outside and had hot dogs. Mayor Treva Hodges says there were also some snap power poles and downed power lines, but crews were quick to clean up. We got up and cut down all of the branches that had affected the gazebo area, um, with the exception of just a few places back here behind us. We're, we're good to go. On residential streets, neighbors also saw downed trees. You can see like the the rope ladder was over there and uh, all the little climbing posts and stuff like that. So, and this thing's a little bit scary. Nathan Fouts walked us around this gigantic tree that fell next to his home. He says he and his wife watched it fall from the kitchen window. It barely missed his house. We were looking out the window there, just straight out the side there while we were washing and looked at that tree and it just split in half forward and hit the house on the corner, split in the back and hit the shed. His roof experienced minor damage, but he's thankful because it could have been a lot worse. If it had been, you know, a couple feet to the other side, it would have crushed the corner there. So, but it's a brick house, so. A tree fell on top of this house along New Street. Hodges says a tree fell on this and another home. Thankfully, there were no injuries, and it looks like the homes um, will be able to be repaired. As for what happens next for Fouts, he says he hopes to save this tree stump. We hope to do an art project with the giant stump that's left. It's, it's about 8 to 10 foot high, so we can probably carve something into it. In Charlestown, Madison Elliott, WLKY News.